सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर सेनाटोमी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन टू द चेस्ट एक्सरे सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू एग्जाम इन द चेस्ट एक्सरे सो द वन थिंग दैट यू कैन विजुअलाइज इन द चेस्ट एक्सरे इज द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम्स ऑर्गन सो लेट अस फर्स्ट फोकस ऑन टू द वॉट आर द रेस्पिरेटरी पार्ट दैट यू कैन विजुअलाइज ओवर हियर एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट यू कैन विजुअलाइज ओवर हियर इज द लंग फील्ड सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिमार्केट द लंग फील्ड ओवर हियर so this is the right lung and this is the territory of the right lung another one that you can visualize on to the left side so this is the left lung field so concentrate on to this diaphragm the demarcation of the diaphragm so over here this is the diaphragm so this is the right dome of the diaphragm and this is one this one is the left dome of the diaphragm this is right and this is left if you can concentrate over here and if i'll draw the straight axis over here you can see that my right dome is on to the higher side as compared to the left dome so that is pretty much normal if you find any elevation of the left dome you need to suspect there should be some pathology present inside the chest after that you can also if i'll zoom in you can also see there is a blackish demarcation that is present over here and you can concentrate over here it looks like this and this is your trachea over here this is the angle that is present between the trachea and the bifurcation of the trachea that angle is known as an carina this is the right main bronchus and over here this is the left main bronchus along with that you can also concentrate on to the hilum part of the lung field so this is the hila of the right end left lung so these are the things that is you can visualize in the chest x ray related with your respiratory system after that you can also concentrate on to the few parts of the cardiovascular system over here so let us focus on to that too so first i'll draw the demarcations over here over here this one is the right border of the heart this one is the left border of the heart so basically right border is formed by the right atrium whereas the left border is formed by the left ventricle over here so you can concentrate on to the right atrium and left ventricle now after understanding this borders you can also see the aorta I'll zoom in to show you the aorta. Over here, you can see this sharp angle is present. This one is known as an aortic knob. This one is known as an aortic knob. After that, you can concentrate on to the angle that is present in this chest X-ray. So one angle that is present over here at the border of the right border and this diaphragm there is a sharp angle is present over here and this angle is present between the rib cage and diaphragm so we call it the costophrenic angle any kind of any infusion into the pleura is going to disturb this angle the same angle is present on to the left side and the left side it is also known as a left costophrenic angle again if any kind of an infusion is occurring into the pleura it is going to disturb this angle after that you can also see another angle that is present over here if i'll zoom in i'll show you again this one is the territory of the diaphragm this is the border of the diaphragm and over here this is the border of the heart and you can see that one angle is created between this two and this one is known as an because it is present between the heart and the diaphragm we call it the cardiophrenic angle 
the same cardiophrenic angle is also present onto the lap side so again i'll draw the both angle over here so this is the territory of the left dome of the diaphragm and over here this is the border of the heart and you can see that one angle is created over here and this angle is again known as a left cardiophrenic angle any kind of any pericardial fusion is going to disturb this two angle so that also you need to concentrate now we are going to concentrate what are the chest x-ray of the COPD patient will come up with so over here what we are going to do we are going to compare the left side chest x-ray with the right side chest x-ray and we are going to visualize what are the difference that we can find so the first difference that is pretty much noticeable over here is the diaphragm let's see the diaphragm over here so if you can see this is the right dome of the diaphragm and this is the left dome of the diaphragm that is present in this chest x-ray whereas when we are comparing the same boundary of the diaphragm over here you will not find any of the hump over here and it is pretty much flattened so this one is one of the classical symptoms of the COPD patient they have the flattening of diaphragm this is known as an flattening of diaphragm the second thing that you can visualize over here let me zoom in this side first we are going to find out the number of ribs over here so if i'll zoom in you can see that this is the first rib over here so this is my first rib this one is the second okay this one is the third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth okay and tenth so you can see up to the tenth there is a ribs is present over here if i'll zoom in over here and if i'll count on this sides okay this is my first rib over here this is my first rib you can see this one so this is my first rib over here it will go up like this okay then this is my second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth and eleventh so you can understand that on the, the left side chest x-ray we can only measure the uh, ribs up to the tenth whereas over here we can measure the ribs up to the eleventh and this is suggest that our lung field is hyperly inflated that means that should be some sort of air trap inside my lung field that's why my lungs is getting hyperly inflated and that is again a classical symptom of the copd hyper inflated lung field After that, the third thing that you can visualize over here, again, that is a classical symptoms of uh, the chest x-ray of COPD. Let me show you that too over here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to again flow, uh, draw the demarcation of the heart over here. Over here, this is my heart. Over here, this is my heart. And I'll zoom in and I'll draw the same demarcations over here as well and you can see the heart looks like a tube over here it is not as identical as the one you can visualize onto the left side and this is the third and most important classical symptom of the COPD chest x-ray and that one is known as a tubular heart Again, these are the symptoms that you need to correlate with the respiratory examination so that you can come up with a better diagnosis of the COPD, whether it could be the emphysema or whether it could be the chronic bronchitis that you need to visualize after, after correlate it with the clinical symptoms. So that is how you need to assess the chest x-ray. Thank you. Thank you very much.